Hi everyone! So this is just a quick video to recommend a couple of pencil sharpeners that I used and <clears throat> have worked very well and I just want to pass it on to people who may be interested. Both of these were recommended to me by other people online, like not directly to me, but they recommended it and it turned out, yes, to be a good <laughs> suggestion. So the first one, now this one I've had a year or two now, at least a couple of years, Tihu. I can't remember what I paid for it, but someone recommended this for color pencils and it's worked very well. I can't complain. I've had one or two times where a lead got stuck in it. You know, that, I think with any pencil sharpener once in a while, that's going to happen, but very infrequent. It's only a few times in the past couple of years. So I highly recommend this one. And the great part about this one is it charges up, you know, with a USB on your computer. So once you charge it up, you don't need it attached to anything. It just works fine. And, uh, but it only works with standard size pencils. So, you know, the Prismacolor, the Polychromos, and right, most color pencils. It works perfectly fine for soft lead, hard lead. Even the, the, the thinner ones work fine. But when you get to the larger ones, like the Brut Funner, this pencil here is, these pencils here, I should say, are the Brut Funner Square Oily Pencils. That I love these pencils. Um, tried them, got them recently, and they work just like Prismacolor, like a cheaper Prismacolor. Um, of course, they're not as nice uh, pigmented or whatnot as the expensive pencils, but this is this 120 set for less than $30. Maybe even get it for like $25. I love these pencils because they're great, cheap pencils that are nice and soft and creamy, but they are a very a larger size pencil. They're a square shape and they don't fit into the Tihu. They don't fit in there. So I uh, rec recommended, I think it was the Art Gear guy pointed out that he has this sharpener, which I also have, and he could, he, you can sharpen these with this um, pencil sharpener here. You can, you can get it in there. You got to turn it a couple of times, but eventually it gets in there once you get it a little bit sharpened. And so if you have this sharpener it works just fine with the square brut funners but i i don't like hand sharpening it's hard on my hands especially when you've got 120 pencils but i actually did go through them all and sharpen them with these but it, the it doesn't sharpen as the, with a long tip like i like with the um, electric sharpener so then on amazon someone recommended now there's a couple of different sharpeners recommended on on amazon in the, in the uh, reviews and someone mentioned the jar link. Oh, so there were a couple of different recommendations, and one was a sharpener that you could twist the sizes so that you could get a regular size that you could twist the front and it would give you different size pencils. I considered that one, but then this one I liked because it was it's an electric and you it only has one opening, but the opening is for um, regular size pencils to larger size pencils, and you don't have to turn anything around. Um, the only, so I really like this. I just got it. It works perfectly with the Brut Funner squares and with my regular pencils. I can show you. Fits right in. Gives you a nice, very, very powerful, nice long tip that I like. Nice and sharp and pointy. So these work perfectly with the square Brut Funners. And the only negative, or I wouldn't even call it a negative necessarily, but you do have to have it plugged in at all times. So this is not a charge up one where you charge it up and you don't need it. Like the Tihu is, the Tihu, once you charge it up, you don't need it attached. The Jarlink does need to be plugged in. So you have to have a power source nearby to use it, but very powerful blade there. Works perfectly with the Brut Funners. So now I can use my square brut funners and I don't have to hand sharpen them. So just wanted to pass that on to people. If they saw that recommendation, they weren't sure. Um, I do highly recommend this jar link. You get two sizes. You can go sharper point or a duller point. They have two different settings there. And again, it's like this, uh, the opening here, it, it sort of has, I don't know if you can see it in there. You probably can't see it, but the way it's set up is um, it's got like cushionings in there, I guess, so that it'll change inside the size depending on the size of the pencil going in that's the only way i can explain it <laughs> but i've just got it recently it works perfectly haven't had any lead stuck or anything even with these very soft pencils these pencils are extremely soft and they sharpen perfectly with the jar link so i recommend the jar link if you're using the square brut funner 
along with a Tihu for regular pencils as well. But of course, you only need one. If I could go back in time, I would just get the jar link and use that for all my pencils. So that is what I wanted to share with you all who are maybe interested and who have the square funners. You can now find a uh, sharpen them with ease and enjoy using them. All right, so that is what I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.